hello friends and welcome back to the channel this is for be here again with a new tutorial in today's video we'll be working on recreating the embellishment done on this gorgeous gorgeous outfit made by vicky james for osas igodaro in this video we'll be talking about the embellishment done on the upper part of the body and on the other parts of the outfit in general and we are going to do a very quick 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 outfit analysis if you'll be interested in knowing all that i have to share in today's tutorial please make sure you watch this video all the way through subscribe to the channel like this video and feel free to share with your friends all right guys let's get straight into the meat and the potatoes of today's video let's go hello friends and welcome back to another tutorial in today's video we'll be working on creating the gorgeous embellishment design done on that stunning dress that I showed us at the intro made by Vicky James for Osas Igudaro. I like to come on here from time to time with tutorials like this sharing embellishments pattern tutorials for my fashion designer supporters and viewers just to help you in finding new ways of embellishing your outfits. So without wasting any time we are going to jump straight into today's video. So I'm just using my fabric pencil and my plastic ruler right here. To just draw simple straight lines on this piece of fabric please take note that you can draw any style of lines if you want you can do curves okay for the sake of today's tutorial let me even work on creating some curves in between here that we will also be bidding on just to help us get a sense of everything that i'm talking about in today's video so i have these curved shapes in between and for the sake of the tutorial as well i'm going to be using this mix of beads that i have here i have some sand beads some broken glass beads as well as some sequins here we're just going to be combining all of these beads together to create something beautiful in the main video we saw there that the outfit is color red and i believe i also shared like the outfit analysis shared by vicky james on this outfit for the top portion of the dress which i'm also going to put a clip of on the screen that portion right there i believe what we have going on there is an applique panel that was placed carefully on the bust area of the outfit for the sake of today's tutorial, I don't have an applique panel, but if you're a fashion designer that's been doing this for a long time, I believe you know how to work around applique panels. Someone that sells applique out here in Portacot is Applique Streams Tubo. I've talked about her countless times on this channel, so you can patronize her, buy your panels from her if you're located in Portacot. But if you live in cities outside of Portacot, please walk into your local market and make the best decision for your business. All right. For this dress as well, it's a mermaid dress or fishtail dress. I honestly don't know the name that designers call these things. Different people have different names, but I either call this type of dress a mermaid dress or a fishtail dress. And we see the gorgeous um, structured sleeve. We have a two-in-one type of sleeve going on here. We have like the regular two that was used for the main like long sleeve and then we have that structure at the cap of the sleeve that looks absolutely stunning the makeup here looks fantastic i don't know who the makeup artist that did this makeup on osasi godaro is however she looks delectable and the hair as well was properly laid and everything just tied together beautifully this is a very old video by vicky james i stumbled on it and i figured okay my youtube people will want to see what i have to say about this so i thought to film a tutorial for the sake of this work as we all know or as we all might know you need a beading needle okay and this right here is a size 10 beading needle it's my favorite type of beading needle for stuff like this okay and then i also have my thread i've actually already threaded my needle with this red thread okay you can either use your fishing line or your invisible thread or your regular polyester thread for this type of work. For those that are new here, please watch my beading tutorial playlist. It's going to help you greatly to just learn how to bead as a beginner, okay? I like to call my channel the University of Beading, okay? If you binge watch my content, be sure that after watching a lot of my videos you would comfortably bead an outfit without issues, all right? So I suggest you watch my contents just get up to speed with my previous videos and practice 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 all right so now that i've given us all the back knowledge it's time to start bidding this fabric right here i like to use it for my tutorials again i know i'm still talking a lot but it's just to give us you know all the necessary information it's called felt okay this right here is called felt and i typically get it from my supplier out here in portacot and yeah it's convenient for me to use for educating 
my viewers all right so don't feel pressured to get felt any fabric you have will do this job conveniently okay for people that always say oh fumbi i don't have felt you don't have to use felt you can use any fabric now i'm just going to be picking up this beading pattern is very very simple depending on what enters my needle that's what i'm going to be working with after i've picked up about three broken glass beads and one sand bead i'm going to also go in with a piece of sequin and then just stick it into my fabric like so i hope this is not too close i think it's going to be a bit too close okay so something like this and then i'm going to come out on top like so and then pick up again Alright friends, so this is what we have here, okay? I went ahead to change the placement of my camera because I wasn't feeling that other placement. I was trying out a new position, but yeah, I decided to change to what I know. So you see that we have a combination of different beads. And I learned, I believe when I first of all did this, I got this trick from Vicky G. She usually just pours a bunch of different beads into a bowl and adds in her sequins and just shakes them up to create something like this. So you see the combination of these broken glass beads, sand beads, and sequin just looks nice. So I'm going to also go ahead and just walk us through how I'm going to be beading this curved line. Take note that the fabric that was used in that particular video, the it's either tool or corset mesh. So just repeat the same pattern on your corset mesh or your tool, depending on the fabric you're working with, right? This works on beading. You can bead on any type of fabric, in all honesty. It's just depending on the fabric you're using, you switch up your beading technique so let me just start from this point here with this my curved line okay i'm passing my needle from inside out and then now i'm just going to just pass different types of beads through my needle like so and then i'm placing my sequin you know that the sequin has like the upside and the downside okay so i'm placing it upside down into my needle like so so that is going to lay nicely on the line when i'm beading i've taught you guys this technique before for those that have been on this channel for long you know that this is not my first time of teaching you guys how to use this technique when beading and incorporating sequence you see how this looks yeah next up i'm just going to come out at the edge of this my sequin like so pick up my beads again
just so it lays flat i'm going to come backwards a little bit i've done this technique when when i taught us the straight beading pattern if you want your beads to lay flat nicely you come backwards a bit and then pass your needle through the middle of these beads like so you guys will see what i'm talking about i'm just trying to find a way to pass my needle through this technique is try is kind of tricky but it can be done So you guys see how I passed my thread and you notice how it just makes the bead lay flat on the fabric okay so when you are trying to achieve like a perfect straight bead work you come backwards pass your needle through the beads and come forward again please go check out my straight beading pattern video I think I want to do an updated video on that technique just so it helps us I'll see hopefully if that tutorial is already on the channel I'll put the link on the screen for us or pin it in the comment section. Same thing here. If I want it to lay flat nicely again, I'll just come backwards a little bit. Pass my needle through the beads after I've come backward. Like so. This time I'm going to also incorporate sequence into the work. So coming backward again, still going to do this coming backward technique. When I say coming backward, I'm just sticking my needle backwards to where I've already, you know, passed the beads through. If you've watched this video closely, I'm sure everything I'm saying makes sense. The problem is that a lot of people skip through videos and then they miss the important parts. So I hope you guys don't miss all the information I'm passing here. see here the curved beading is already forming nicely I think I'm just going to add like one more last bead here and with this technique I just chose to use beads you can use your stud stones or stone depending on what you choose to call those things you guys know what I'm talking about your rose monties those sparkly tiny pieces of stone you can use it here it works And for those that always ask me, oh, Fumbi, how do you knot your stitch? This is how I go about it. I'll pass like this, create like a loop, and then stick my needle through the loop like so, and pull, and that's it. I saw a question a couple of days ago, someone asking, oh, did you burn the edge of your thread? If you knot it up like this, your work is going to stay in it. Can we see what we have here? Very simple to achieve. I hope we all got the gist of this particular beading technique so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to beat this remaining three lines off camera so we can wrap up this tutorial and not waste too much time all right friends so this is it this is the end result of this particular beading pattern remember we did a combination of broken glass beads sand beads and sequins in gold in the video, the original video that inspired this tutorial, we see that everything that was used there was color red. I could have easily used red beads, but because I know that the fabric I'm working on is red, I just wanted some kind of color contrast just to help us better understand everything that I'm doing in today's tutorial. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed watching. Please take note that you can incorporate this beading pattern into any type of fabric because I see occasionally people saying, oh, you use felt, can I use this beading on Ankara? Can I use it on lace? You can bead on any type of fabric, okay? Same technique applies and I'm sure you guys will do great. 
apart from watching tutorials i always recommend that you practice as well that's what lets the knowledge that you gain from every tutorial you watch on here that's what lets it stick also something else that i remember that i forgot to mention okay for my new viewers these fabric pencils i got them off of aliexpress okay i know people always have that question for me i bought this from aliexpress i've talked about how i shop on aliexpress in a different video go check out that video i'll do my best to leave it on the screen so again guys i hope you all enjoyed watching if you have questions for me please don't hesitate to drop it down in the comment section i'll be sure to attend to your question as soon as possible also remember to like this video it supports me greatly subscribe to this channel if you'd like more tutorials and just insightful edifying content okay be sure to subscribe to this channel share this channel with your friends as well it would make me really really happy thank you guys so much for spending your time again with me this beautiful day have a fabulous day ahead and yeah friends i can't wait to see you all in another video very very soon bye